It's a um, Belgian beer, Galois, if someone knows how to pronounce it properly, uh, please leave me a note in the comments. It's an amber beer from brewery uh, Bok or Bosk, or I don't know how to pronounce it, 5.5% uh, ABV. La Galois is the beer of our ancestors. Full of character, La Galois is brewed with respect for traditions. Refermented in the bottle, a slight trace is possible. Self at five, uh, 5 degrees Celsius. Contains very malt. Not so much, not so much. <coughs> so, let's have a try. Uh, the cup is the same color as the label with the Basserie de Bourg name and uh, <coughs> let's open it. Quite easy. Some hoppiness. I would say the grassy hoppiness. Easty and malty. Right, very nice carbonation. It's typical for Belgian beers. Uh, it is amber color. Little bit hazy. Uh, not so much. I will pour it later with the sediment, so we will see the difference. Very nice, small bubbles uh, head, very creamy. Uh, it is um, easty, but you, you can smell alcohol as well. Definitely, and it's only 5.5. .5. Okay, let's have a try. High carbonation, easty, a little bit spicy. Some sourness, but definitely it's not uh, lemon. You can feel this sediment uh, straight away. Uh, it has a very nice uh, bitterness as well. It's short, quite grassy and earthy. I would say it's, it's quite um, drinkable. Maybe because of this um, carbonation. It's rather dry. It 
It tastes a little bit like a sourdough. Yeah. And this, you know, yeasty um, texture in it. Uh, you almost feel that there are some, some you know, grainy bits in it. Mm. Quite nice. Mm. I can feel alcohol now. It warms me up. I don't know. So 5.5 .5 and it's quite quite warming. Mm. Hmm. There's not so much in this beer, except what I what I already said. There are some like you know cider notes in it. I don't know, a little bit yeasty, a little bit uh, uh, alcoholic, a little bit, a little bit fruity. But there's no you know funky notes. There's there's no other aromas. Maybe in the maybe in the background there are some spicy notes, but bitterness is it's it's higher than, than those notes, so you can uh, you can uh, you know like feel bitterness straight away, but uh, those spicy notes are you know very distant. But anyway, it's quite quite good beer. Um, but like I said, it warms me up, you know, so, and it's only 5.5, .5. so be careful, be careful. Uh, I'm just interested, you know, curious what you think about uh, this beer. Uh, if you can, leave me notes, uh, it, will be, it will be great. I hope you enjoyed this video, please like it, please subscribe my channel, and cheers. Hello again! <laughs> a small postscript and I forgot about the sediments on the bottom. Uh, for a long time I had no, uh, no bottle conditioned beer. <laughs> right, let's find out if it, if it is any difference. Ah, oh it's very murky now, very, very cloudy. And definitely more more aroma, maybe because it's a little bit warmer. Now. <laughs> Who knows? <sighs> there are some fruity notes now. More spiciness. Okay, let's have a try. Now this beer feels more full. Despite that there's no so much taste, additional taste in it. It is a little bit more spicy. More yeasty. Maybe, maybe uh, there is some funky note. Like wet weather, <coughs> leather, um, something. It's very, very distant. Maybe it's just my imagination.
but definitely mm, it's it's a little bit better with uh, sediment with yeast from the bottom than without just do your experiment you know try with and without yeast you will find the difference so again please like this video please subscribe my channel and cheers